1995 witnessed the inaugural Summer X Games and the arrival of Denmark's Rune Glyfberg to the medal podium, a place he'd returned to 11 times. When I grew up skateboarding, I always skated everything. Like I'd ride my, my board to school and like, you know, skate curbs outside my school and back home. And then in the afternoon, I'd go to the skate park and we had a vert ramp there. And so I'd skate that. And I think like over the years, I just kind of like learned that maybe I was a little bit better at skating vert than I was at, at street. Maybe I was too clumsy. I wasn't like as technical as some of my friends. I mean, that was at a time really when, when vert skating was kind of dying, you know, and there wasn't, there wasn't really a lot of people doing it. Everything was kind of going towards street skating. It was kind of going against the grain a little bit, but um, yeah, somehow it, it, it worked out. Backside tail side Rune through the is over, all over the place on this ramp. Get out of my life with that. The feeling of like skating bigger stuff and stuff that's a little more simple, if you will. I think it's kind of a better feeling to do one trick really well as opposed to doing something where you're kind of maybe fighting your movements a little bit more and it's a little bit more technically difficult. The flow and the easy lines, that's usually the most rewarding like, inside. I think Rune Glyfberg just put in the most polished run of the event so far, just owning the ramp. My main influence when I was a kid was uh, obviously Nicky Guerrero, who's from Copenhagen as well. Danny Way, who was like my age, but way beyond what I was doing you know, in the 90s or whatever. So he was a big inspiration just because he was so good at his age, you know what I mean? Danny Way just yanking him back up onto the deck to help Flipford. To skate vert and like bigger stuff, I think you just need to kind of do it a lot because it's uh, it's a lot of rhythm, you know? Once, once you haven't skated for a little while, that rhythm kind of goes away a little bit. Having a good pump and like how you ride the ramp is important. You get that from kind of like doing it all the time. <laughs> you just gotta wrap your head around it, I guess, you know? Well, I started skating back in 86 and not even all the tricks had been invented at that time, you know, like, like the basic ones, like, like no spunt slides and like ollie blunts and all that kind of stuff kind of got got invented in, in my earlier years. So, so I saw a lot of evolution in skateboarding, you know, and, and still do. You go watch kids that start skateboarding today, like all the basic tricks are there. So now it's more how you like mix those tricks and put them together. And that's really interesting to watch too, because you have kids with a really cool trick selection these days. Whereas when I grew up, it was all about learning the new tricks just constantly learning new stuff. We were never like looking at like learning the old stuff. But now you have kids that are looking way back 10, 20, 30 years looking at tricks that got in a long time ago and throwing their own special twist onto that trick. My style of skateboarding is pretty fluid. These days I try not to complicate things too much. Like I try to do the tricks that really feel good to me and that I know that I'm good at and the ones that feel natural. I mean, that's not how I've always skated. Like when I was younger, I wanted to learn every trick there was to learn and preferably like the more technical ones too. I guess maybe as you grow older, you kind of feel that you've already kind of proven to yourself that you have this technical ability of being able to do all these different tricks and you just kind of like pull back a little bit and ride the stuff that, that feels good and I've really enjoyed like skating a lot more pools and bowls and a little bit more basic stuff lately. Rune has so much style, it makes everything look super clean and it looks pretty when he skates. It's always a highlight when you win the X Games, you know, like gold medals in uh, I think uh, 08 and 09 really stand out in my head as far as like competitions, you know. Rune Glipper just got his first Gold medal at X Games. Been to every X Games and gets to put a period on it. I think we're going to see a lot of changes in the upcoming years, uh, just how skateboarding is run with the Olympics and everything coming up. Skateboarding's kind of matured now that it has a lot of different sides to it and it's not just one direction. Kids are going to continue to get better, but it's going to be in sort of a, a more interesting way. You can't just like go out and grind like the biggest handrail or whatever, because there's like there's tons of kids that can do that stuff, so you need to find like your own personal style and how you want to express your, your, your skateboarding, you know? So personal expression on, on your skateboarding is going to be hugely important in the future, I think, more than just tricks.